Hi everybody, hope 2020 is treating you all as well as could be expected. Um, so I'll keep it short, I'll try and keep it to the point. Um, and uh, hopefully uh, what I'm about to say might just convince some of you to help us um, finish something that is really rather remarkable. Um, so in short, Hightown Pirates uh, are trying to finish our new album. Um, recording started in the summer of 2019 and uh, I decided um, about a year ago, um, just about a year ago, that I wanted to make a record with musicians that were all entirely clean and sober and in recovery from their various addictions. And I made that decision after uh, three friends of mine all died within the space of 18 months. All of them were music lovers, um, a couple of them were fantastic musicians, and sadly none of them made it past 45 years of age. And um, it really shocked me and shook me. And, and I wanted to try and, perhaps I'm flattering myself, but, but send a message in, in this new album that beyond addiction, beyond recovery, well, beyond recovery, but in recovery, beyond addiction, some of us actually begin our creative journey after we clean up. And my experiences certainly bore that out to be true. So, um, long story short, I had a piece of artwork on the wall back there that a friend of mine had given me many years ago. Um, and I decided that um, I wanted to sell that in order to fund the making of this record. I wanted to pay all the musicians. Um, the studio that we're using, Viva Recorders in London, is also run by two people that are in recovery. Um, I want to use artists to give us artwork, visual artwork for the record, all of whom are also in recovery. You get the picture. Um, and so I contacted the artist and I said to him, you know, listen, mate, I want to sell a piece of your art to make some art of my own and try and convey what I consider to be an important message. And he agreed. Um, I took a little bit of money from that. I um, put some money in my daughter's bank account. I paid off my overdraft. Uh, I asked my then girlfriend, Becky, to marry me and we did get married. Um, and the rest of the money went into the making of all of the above. It's been a journey. At times I've wondered why the hell I'm doing this. It's, it's been lonely sometimes, but ultimately the songs on this record I've had swimming around in my head for a while and I had a very clear vision of what I wanted to do and how I wanted this record to sound. And I have to say at this point that everybody involved um, deserves a fucking medal. Um, people came and we, you know, we had a couple of rehearsals, new band lined up and everybody got involved um, and we recorded, the, you know, the body of, of the songs. And then for the past few months, um, Tim at Lever Recorders, who's the engineer, and Shireen and myself have spent weeks and weeks and weeks just trying to get this thing ready for release. And um, now we need your help. Um, you know, if social media worked and everybody on my Facebook page gave a pound, <laughs> we'd be laughing, but it doesn't work like that. So this is direct appeal to you guys. Please, please help us. You know, the record is ready to be mixed and it's ready to be mastered. And if we hit our target, we might also be able to pay a PR company to, to PR and plug it so that ultimately it will be heard. Um, I could bang on and on and on about a whole lot of other things, but you know, this is a direct appeal, really, with all the sincerity I can muster. You know, this is like a, a one take piece to camera. I don't have any fancy words, I just have an unbridled enthusiasm and belief in this record and what we're trying to say, and everybody involved, hopefully, you know, may benefit themselves from that, you know, um, because that's really at the heart of what. Hightown Pirates was always supposed to be, I guess. And maybe I lost sight of that a little bit somewhere along the way. However, everybody involved in the making of this record 
is in recovery of varying descriptions and it's not for me to say who and what from or how long they've been around and that sort of stuff but I can tell you this for a fact that, that all the core musicians we used uh, in the making of this record there has been no alcohol and no drugs um, and that in itself I think um, is worthy. The record itself I am ridiculously proud of and I very much hope that with your help um, we can get it mixed and mastered and released and you know what maybe it will even get heard by a few people um, so with all that um, please 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 if you feel you could help us we're not going to do a vinyl release it's not going to be on CD it's going to go on streaming sites um, you'll listen to it for nothing you'll get it for free you know there's no we're not going to pull any money back from this it's cost a lot of money to make I don't regret a penny of it, you know, I'm not going to sit here and give you some self-pity, so, you know, I made my decisions, I stand and fall my, by my decisions, but we need some help, um, so if you feel that you can contribute a little bit, or a lot, um, please, 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 um, I'd be eternally grateful from the bottom of my dark pirate heart. Love to you all, and um, yeah, thank you very much, in anticipation, bye.